What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Southern Series. I'm on a beach in South Carolina today, about to fish the Atlantic Ocean for the first time. I just saw the Atlantic Ocean for the first time yesterday, and I'm uh, about to fish it. Really excited because even though it's kind of cold out here and it's very windy, even though I'd rather be out here when it's uh, better conditions in terms of like it'd be calm and beautiful, and I'd relax on the beach with a few lines out. Uh, when it's when it's real windy and stuff like this, this is actually a lot of times the fishing is better. And uh, I've heard good fishing reports from this beach. So I'm just super excited to try something brand new, surf fishing the Atlantic Ocean in South Carolina. All right, so I have a bucket here uh, with some brand new fishing stuff, which I always love doing. I have your rod holder, which I just got at the tackle store. And I bought my first cast net, folks first Katniss to catch some live bait. It's only a five foot radius, but I wanted something a little bit smaller uh, to uh, that I could carry around easy. For bait, got some frozen squid. I don't have to, I haven't had time yet to try to catch some fresh bait. So I thought I'd start off with some frozen squid just to see what we could get started with that. Squid is one of the most universal baits around here. And uh, then I went and I got these little, look, this is electric chicken swim bait. I've heard that for like, um, sea trout and all that stuff this is one of the most popular colors of all time and in fact when i fished for sea trout the first time a few months ago this is the first color they tied on for me so i got that at the store then i got some jig heads to go along with the little swim baits i have here a meps that a subscriber actually sent me which i brought from home which looked pretty good i have here a crab line i am going to do some crabbing while i'm here got lots of blue crabs and then just some like great big sinkers and some different hooks and things like that we got a couple fishing rods and uh, the tide is coming in right now which if you're new to surf fishing you always want to fish an incoming tide so very excited for my very first Atlantic Ocean fishing trip just got a bite just got a bite first bite of the day guys I think I have one it's something small but I think I have one <laughs> what do we got first fish of the day oh it's a tiny red fish check it out my first South Carolina fish. Didn't even know I had them on. A little, is that a redfish? Yeah. I don't know my saltwater, yeah. I think so. Wait a second, no, redfish have a dot. Was oh, that just a big croaker? I think it's a big croaker actually. Yeah, I think it's just a big croaker. I've just never seen one that big because I've only used them for bait once in Louisiana. We'll uh, put him in a bucket and I'll look up to make sure I know what he is. Look at that. Wow. I don't know what kind of plane that is, but definitely a military something. That was low. It's hard to tell. Sometimes GoPros really distort proportion, but guys, that was really low over the beach. Am I getting another bite? Got one guys, got one. Yes! Yes! And it's a something good too. Something decent. Yes! What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? 
What the? It's a, it's a baby shark. It's a baby shark. Oh my goodness. Check it. I just caught a baby shark. That is so cool. What is this? Settle down, settle down you little. <laughs> Guys, check it out. Just caught uh, my first baby shark in South Carolina. There we go. Hook is out. <laughs> that is so cool. A little tiny shark. Let me see here. I'm going to see what kind he is here. Guys, I thought this shark was called an Atlantic sharp nose. And I just looked it up to double check and it is. And you can actually keep and eat one of these per person per day. And I thought that this was a baby one. This is actually a pretty average size um, shark there. So I am excited to cook this up, but I want to fish a little bit more while the tide is still good and uh, see if we can catch anything else and then we'll cook him up. Cool. The first time fishing from the beach, getting some, you know, we're gonna go with a big piece of uh, squid here now. Um, see if we can get a big shark on, I don't know. <laughs> Got him, got him. Got something, got something guys. Yes, what do we got? It's not very big, but it's something. What do we got? Oh, it's another croaker. Yes. <laughs> Yes, guys, I've heard that these are amazing eating, and I think this is a good size one for a croaker. I don't know, I'm still new to the whole, obviously, first time fishing the Atlantic Ocean. All right, guys, we got a nice little medley of things to eat there. Sweet. I think they do it with their front hooks. How are y'all doing? Good. While I was fishing, I actually found this big shell in the surf. Would you girls like it? Yeah, we can kind of put that. We might be able to so put that in our fireplace. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, fantastic little afternoon surf fishing session. Let's get out of the wind and let's clean this shark. So I found a little spot here where there's a spigot. Looks like they clean a lot of stuff off here. There's a lot of debris there. I've got my a cutting board. We're just gonna kind of clean the shark right in this little area here. All right, so I knocked the shark out with a rock. And uh, you can kind of see the, where his eye is bugging out there. Um, anyway, my thinking was I didn't want to clean this guy on the beach because I didn't want to throw the guts in and attract sharks. That makes no sense, though. Um, <laughs> don't want to throw the guts in to attract... That doesn't make any sense, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Anyway, here we are to clean the shark. This is my first time ever doing this, so, you know, if I mess this up, uh, yeah, use this now. This is the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to just going to fillet it like a, it's got rough sandpaper skin. I think I'm just going to fillet it like a regular fish though. I can feel like a bone right here from his, uh, from his gills. And so I'm just going to cut down, cut pretty easily. I have a pretty, I have a very, very sharp knife though. Check out inside his mouth there. Got little baby teeth. He actually, he doesn't have big teeth at all. I mean, he actually bit me and I didn't, um, like he didn't even draw blood. Just little micro teeth in there. In fact, the teeth even feel, I can like press on with my finger and they just like give way. They're a little bit malleable. Huh. Just like filleting a fish. Huh. There we go, folks. Filet of shark right there. I'm thinking that you definitely can't eat the skin of a shark, so I am gonna cut that away. I mean, maybe I might be wrong, but. All right, now that the shark is cleaned, I'm just do the same thing. The old croaker here. Never eaten one of these before. <laughs> Two brand new fish to eat. This is gonna be fun. All right, guys, here is the plan for cooking up the shark. I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm just gonna use butter and some seasonings. Nothing else, no, no other ingredients. We're not gonna get too fancy because I just wanna taste the shark. I just wanna see how the shark tastes and the croaker as well. All right, cooking on a beach is already a little hard, but cooking on a beach when it's windy is uh, quite difficult because you got sand everywhere. So I'm gonna have to keep a lid on my fish. 
Alright, so let's add a little butter. Whoa, oh, can't have that. I'm already contending with sand and stuff. First time shark fillets going down. And, or wait, one of these might be a croaker. Oh, great. I got no big ones like a croaker because I chopped up the shark chunk. Yeah, these two are shark. This is a croaker. Super simple on the seasonings. I have this uh, salt and pepper mix, like so. And my Ace Video's first cast seasoning, of course. Link in the description to this amazing seasoning. If the wind doesn't blow it all away. Can't get any, can't, dang it. I can't get any on there. There. I'm gonna cut up a little lemon here. I figured lemon shark would be good. <coughs> that was lame. I apologize for that one, folks. That was bad. Oh yeah, just slightly blackened. That's the croaker right there. This is the shark. Oh yeah. Add just the smallest smidgen of lemon juice over that. Uh -huh. All right, for the first time, shark. Looks just like a regular fish. It doesn't smell any different than a regular fish. Say a prayer real quick. All right, here we go. It is good. It is very good. It is very much like any other fish. In fact, it's extremely like, reminds me of flounder-ish. I'm not kidding you. The texture is like a flounder, but it's just a solid, good white meat fish, or shark. I was expecting maybe like a, a real fishy taste, gamey taste, you know, some kind of something different. But honestly, it's just like eating a regular fish. Now let's try the croaker. Heard these are amazing. Whoa, a little windy. Croaker going in. They call them croaker because they actually make a croaking sound like a frog. Croaker's good too. The meat's really soft though. I mean, it's like, it's darn near melt in your mouth. That's crazy guys. So, I was not expecting that shark would be so plain, really. I, I thought that like there'd be a really bold flavor to it or something special. It's it's honestly just like it's like eating a regular fish. That's good. Well guys, this is really fun. The first few hours out here on the beautiful, beautiful South Carolina beach, even though it's a little windy, super fun. Before we leave, I just want to let you guys remind you guys that the Ace Videos necklace Christmas is coming up. The Ace Videos necklace, I'll put a link to it in the description below and uh, it makes a great Christmas gift. I also have brand new merchandise that's just come out. And uh, so make sure you guys check that out in the description below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow for the next adventure.